kings and queens what's up i'm back miss joan thank you so much for the love you showed me on my other video as i installed the lot knots today video will basically be us taking down these lock knots i've had them in for going on two weeks and like two days so basically almost three weeks i've had these locks in and i'm ready to take them out um i've enjoyed the look as you see they're um, over the last couple weeks, they're a little bit more flexible, flowy. Um, I missed the short look of my locks I had when I first started my locks. And it just kind of made me feel like in the beginning of my lock journey. Um, but I'm ready to see the outcome in the curl. So let's go ahead. I'm not going to talk too long like I did in the last video. So we're gonna go ahead and get to it. So today what I will be using to take out my lock knots, just my leave-in conditioner by Dr. Locks. I'm just gonna spray this on my hair just to moisturize it. And I think I'm gonna do my edges. I usually don't do my edges. I kind of just leave my edges alone. Um, like about two years ago I had issues with them. So I finally got my edges to grow in good. They're thick. And so I really don't want to manipulate them too much, but for this style, I think I'm going to go ahead and use my Eco Style Gel, olive oil, and shea butter. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see how this come out. So let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm first going to shake my conditioner. Oof, and spray. we definitely want our locks to have some moisture some oil to it um while we take these out and by the way if you are watching this video and you're watching me take out the lock knots uh go ahead and watch that last video it shows you how i install them that way if you like the results once i take them out then you'll know how to put them in okay yes and don't mind me if i'm looking like down this way i'm looking at my mirror i got my little setup uh, and let's go ahead and start. So I normally always start with taking out the back because I start with the back. So pretty much to take out these, the way I installed them, remember in the last video, I two strand twisted down to mid section of the lock. Um, and then I just wrapped it going upwards. So my rubber bands will be on the up where most videos you watch, um, people who do their lock knots, their rubber bands are on the bottom, but mine will be more so at the top. So I just have to search for that rubber band, took that out. And so how I do it is I unravel it the direction that I wrapped it around the lock. So I just unwrap it like this and then remember we two strand twist the root so you also gonna have to untwist the two strand without so much disturbing the pattern and that is the curl result So taking these down won't take as long as it did to install them, but it will take a minute because again, I two strand twist or like maybe use three or four in each lock and my locks are fairly small. So this will take me a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through it. Uh, so you can watch me take this down in a little quicker fashion and I'll be back once all of these are taken out. Okay, all right.
Hey Kings and Queens, I'm back. Um, I have taken down most of the lock knots. It has been a little minute, but not that long. Um, and so, so far, these are the results that have already taken place. These are the rest of the lock knots that I have yet taken out. Uh, these are the ones that are remaining. So what we're going to do is take out the rest of these lock knots. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest with you. And then we're going to try to do a little styling and just see the outcome of the takedown. So let's go ahead and take the rest of these out. So um, I learned somewhat of a quicker way to take these out. So when we first started the video, I was just taking them and unraveling them. But if you can grab both of the twist and just pull down, it will unravel that way. See that? And this one only had one lock in it, but this one I'm sure has two. And it just makes it quicker than just taking it and carefully unwrapping it. Uh, if you wrap them correctly, pretty much you shouldn't have to worry about the curl losing its pattern because he's been in for like close to three weeks so the curls pretty much in these locks so here's one that has more than one I find it and I just pull see that and that makes the process a little bit quicker and then I may have to some of them smaller ones I have to reverse twist it uh, my hair combines pretty quick so Anytime I've like combined the lock, it combined quick. So I have to sometimes untwist it to make sure they don't stick together and combine unless that's the look I'm going for. All right, so we're gonna do this one. And all I do is I hold the rubber band out and I just push the lock through that open it and that's how I unravel it quick. Boom, boom. <laughs> All right. And sometimes I'll pull from the top carefully and then like pull it apart. Uh, Cause this can be a little bit time consuming. As you see, uh, my eyes were pretty small. So, but if you have thicker locks, then this will not be as long. Again, I hold the rubber band open and I just push the lock through. And then I just lightly pull from the root. And then when it stops, I just take the bottom and unravel and then
Okay, and here we go. These are the final results. What I always do is I'll check my whole head and make sure I didn't leave a lock knot because they're, some of them are small and I've done that before. So what I do is just touch around just to make sure. Nope, not this time. And here you go, here's the results of the takedown. I'll give you a full 360. Let me make sure. Um, I don't know, I was gonna kinda wear it to like one side. But I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of liking it straight down the middle. So I don't know yet, but I'll wear it down the middle for you all to get the full view first. So here you go. Okay, and so these is the curls. I love in the results. I told you like, man, life, okay? I'm telling you. And my hair holds curls so well that I would probably have to wash these out because they will stay in. Even if I get like caught in some rain or the moisture or just from showering, um, pretty much uh the curls will last until i wash my hair uh they may not be as defined by then but i mean i still have a curl and so these are like my go-to the only thing is lock knots take forever for me to do because i because that small micro traditional lots so it just take a long time and i like to wear i like to wear my protective styles on my or lock knots or two strand twists or braids for like two weeks or more because i know i'll get the results that i'm looking for and so these are the results now i'm thinking about maybe doing a side maybe and the whole purpose of this eco style gel was i was going to maybe Fleet these edges. I don't know if y'all still stay fleet, but you know what I mean. You know, do my edges, and then I think I like it from the side for today. So let me see. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know if you can see my edges are kind of down already from when I had my satin bonnet on. So just one moment. But then we'll go ahead and do some of my edges. And so what I have is a soft bristle toothbrush, just as clean, that I had laying somewhere um, out in, in the pack. I have my Eco Styler Gel. And I'm old school. Okay, I'm an 80s baby. So I got me a little scarf that I wrap around. I like my edges to look really good. Um, my hair in gel, for some reason, since, you know, back in the days, that brown gel, um, my hair don't, in gel don't really stick together. So I have to, like, literally tie it down for the gel to actually hold my hair down. So I'm going to open the gel. Okay. Let's hope I don't mess this up, because you know... Like I told you guys, I really don't, I really don't do gel. I really don't mess with my edges too much. Um, and this will probably be the only time you put see me put something not natural in my hair. So I do is just pat it on first before I. Okay.
Now because I'm not, my hair is gonna be all going one way, I'm not gonna really worry about doing this side. Now one thing I don't like about doing my edges once my makeup is on, it gives, no tea, no shade to nobody, don't take this personal, but it gives me like, you've seen some girls who put them lace front wigs on and you can see the glue where the wig, yeah. I'm kind of getting that that shadow. I'm kind of getting that lace front, lace front shadow. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Like, I don't mind, you know. I, if someone assumes that I may have on like a lace front lock wig, which that's insane, that don't offend me, you know, because I know my hair is real. What offends me is when I'm being accused of having lock extensions. Like I, I am dead set against lock extensions. I'm thinking about doing a video on it. It will probably upset some people. Um, the next video I will be filming is on my spiritual journey, my lock spiritual journey. Um, the reason why I locked my hair and the spirituality behind why I locked my hair. So maybe then you'll have like a better understanding on why like I'm just not for the lock extensions. Like I'm just not, but you know, to each his own. No teach, no shade, no pink lemonade. Just saying we all have our own opinions. We have our differences. We have what we do, you know? But if you want to offend me, say I got some lock extensions. And you see the Taurus come out. You would. Girl, this look giving me lace front realness. <laughs> y'all <laughs> y'all probably can't see it but when I look in my mirror the gel over my makeup I feel like I got lace front realness honey so here we go my final results of my lock knot curls um I decided this is how I'm gonna wear them today um yeah, I think I like it. You know, it's it's cool. It's it'll do, it'll do. But yeah, these are the results of the curls. I'm so in love with these curls right now. They're everything, and it's exactly what I wanted. And so, kings and queens, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, again, if you want to see how I achieve these results, please make sure you check out the previous video I just uploaded last week to achieve these results of these curls. And so please, uh, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my video. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Hit that notification bell so that you can see my videos that I will be uploading coming in the future. And as I always say, your journey is your journey. And smooches.